In this video, we're going to show three different SMS sign-in options to log into our Wi-Fi capture portal. The first option is simply to ask users to key in the mobile number, get an SMS ODP, and log in so that we can capture the mobile number for security and traceability purpose. And as a, this is an administrator interface, you just click to select which sign option you want to use. So now I'm just going to use SMS OTP and make sure you have already key in the SMS gateway in four, depends on which SMS gateway you use. So then you click on save. And now I'm ready to test as an end user. Then start to browse. Then you will be asked to log in. So the user will just have to key in the mobile number and click on get OTP. Then you have to put in the SMS will be sent to the user and the user just have to key in the OTP from the SMS. H65. The SMS is randomly generated or the OTP is randomly generated. So it's different from every user. Then the user will be automatically logged into the Wi-Fi capture portal and you will have X for access. So each time the user just have to repeat the same. Then on the system side, the system will capture the user's mobile number and you can optionally set access control info under the profile so that it applies to all the users who sign using SMS OTP. So basically that's the first option. The second option is to ask user to register with their details, whatever info you want to capture so that you can use them for marketing campaign. Uh, at the same time, make sure they are putting the correct mobile number again for security purpose. So before I try the second option, I will need to delete the existing user record. And now as an administrator, I could just go to the setting and switch to the other option. And because this time I'm going to ask the users to sign using uh, the information. So you can actually specify which are the user info you want to capture. So you just click on the ones that you like and then go to the login options and switch to the SMS registration. Then as a user, so when I try to, when I hook onto the Wi-Fi, when I try to start browsing and the login window will appear differently. Now I'm asked to put in the mobile number and password. And because the first time the user sign in, it doesn't have any password, you can just click on sign up. And now you are asked to put in the user info that the administrator has requested the user to sign in. So you just register with the information that is required. So I have asked to put in email. The, the email cannot be validated, but the mobile number will be validated because you have to receive an SMS to be able to log in. So if you put in a wrong mobile number, the users will not be able to receive the SMS with the OTP or other activation code. So just wait for the activation code. The, the speed of the SMS really depends on which SMS gateway service you use, 5685. Then the user is logged in with full access. So as an administrator, if you go to the system, you will see the users are registered. And again, with the profile, which you can enforce access control, and you can go to the user info to see the information that you capture and can use it for marketing purpose later on. So the next time when the user try to sign in, he will just need to put in the same SMS password, OTP password that has been sent to him. So the other option is just to ask users to do a one-time registration so that we can capture the user in for. And the future visit, they just need to key in the mobile number only. So it's easier for the user in terms of experience. All we have to do is just to enable this feature, enable one-time registration, and they get direct access for future visit. That means the future visit, you just need to key in mobile number so we don't have to validate or we don't require the user to register again so that the experience is, is similar or easier. So 
the first time the user try to get connect, and if you key the mobile number, you will fail because the user hasn't registered yet. So you just click on sign up, and the whatever info you require to enter here is basically configured by the administrator, or rather, is what the venue owner is interested to capture. The mobile number has to be correct, otherwise you can't receive the SMS. Now we just wait for the SMS to come in and activate this mobile number. So the future visit, you just have to key in the mobile number only. Five, seven, six, three. So now the user registration is successful. If you go to the user management, you will see the users register and the registration details that you are interested to capture. So for future visit, I'm just going to kick him out. So the same user, when he comes back, he will be asked to key in the mobile number only to get full access. So I don't have to register again because I already registered. All I have to do is just to key in the mobile number to get full access. So this is relatively less secure because um, there is a possibility that somebody else has your mobile number and if he knows that you already registered, he can just put your mobile number to get access to the system. So basically it's just a trade-off between the second option where each time you have to put in your password and this option is just to validate the user mobile number, get your registration details and to make your experience more seamless. That's all for this demo. Thank you very much for watching.